Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life in the Mundane. And as you know, I have six beautiful children, all nine and under. And today I'm gonna take you along while we go on a grocery shopping trip and show you some of the things we do to make it more manageable, to take six kids grocery shopping by myself. I will say that this trip I did have my husband with me, but that's because while I am good and I can shop with six kids, I cannot film myself and shop with six kids. So he came along just as our cameraman and to add some assistance that way, but this is pretty much what it looks like when I do take all six kids out. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. All right guys, so we're getting ready to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna take you guys along with us. I hope you enjoy. Couple of quick things. It is always smart if you're going shopping with a bunch of kids by yourself, with any kids by yourself, I can promise you that the ride will go so much smoother if you go in with a plan. So having your grocery list ahead of time is essential um, and it really will help. Honestly, if mom is frazzled and trying to figure out what she's getting, it's going to make everything more chaotic because you're gonna have less patience with your kids and you're you're going to probably end up missing, forgetting things, or buying more than you wanted. So always get that shopping list done beforehand, even if it means delaying your shopping trip by a little bit, and have it in hand with you, whether you keep it on your phone. I like to add to my shopping list on Alexa, so it's all right there on my phone, or you could do a handwritten list, however you want to do it. So that's tip one. Um, also tip two is to pick shopping times that are not super busy. So I do not recommend going shopping on Saturday unless you absolutely need to. So I typically like to go between 3 and 4 p.m., 2 and 4 p.m., honestly, after we're done with school, usually on a Monday to Wednesday afternoon um, when the stores are a lot less busy and kids aren't quite out of school yet. We've had a chance to finish all of our school, but um, but it hasn't gotten real busy yet. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm excited to show you guys, and I hope you enjoy. All right, hey, guys, before we go inside, we are gonna go over the rules of what to do when we are inside. What do we not do when we're inside? Uh, we, we don't we, touch anything. We don't touch things. We, we don't, don't. We don't act silly. We don't act silly or goofy. Or we go away from mom and dad. We don't run away from mom. We do not ask to buy things, right? Yeah. Right. Thank you. <laughs> we don't. Um, we don't run away from mom and dad. We stay with our buddy. with our buddy. Stay, we stay with our buddy, and we obey and listen. Right? We're gonna have fun, aren't we? Yeah. We can do this. Can we have a kitchen? We're not gonna ask to buy stuff. That's one of the rules, okay? I understand, but we're not gonna ask. All right. All right, so before we go in, uh, two quick tips as far as um, parking goes, being strategic here. We're at Sam's Club, um, but for places like this where there's an entrance and an exit, they're on two separate sides of the parking lot. I always say prioritize parking next to the exit versus the entrance because you're more likely to be in meltdown mode and done, um, and you want to get out to the car quicker, whereas at the beginning you're fresh and your kids are a lot easier to walk inside further. So getting a parking spot next to the exit, always a plus. Also along those lines, I always prioritize getting a parking spot next to the cart return versus one that's super close because being able to have that right next to the car just makes the whole process go smoother. So let's go. they buddy up and they line up behind us but that's only because they're older and they can stay behind me and I can somewhat trust them to behave when they were little and they were too big to be sitting in the cart we'd actually have them walk and holding on to the cart while we were shopping just so I could keep track of everybody it was a little chaotic and crazy but you could see where everybody was and it kept people from lagging behind Party. 
boys stay together, go in, come straight back out. Girls stay together, come back, straight back out. Even if you, one goes faster than the other, go. We, no, you don't need to go potty right now. Did you knock over your pretzels? Uh-oh, they're all gone. Sorry, so, babe. It is finished. One of the best things about Sam's Club is their uh, scan and go app. And so I was able to just scan every item as you put it in. And then I can just check out when I'm all done. And I just press check out. And I'm ready to go. And I can sip all the lines here and go straight to the door. So definitely the best way to go with kids. So obviously we're done now. As you can see, it was not all perfect and pretty, but that's how we do it. A couple tips to make it a little bit easier. Also, you notice that we had our kids buddy up. They actually stay in the same buddies every time. That spending some time figuring out um, which buddies in your family do best is worth taking the time to figure out because we have two that if we put them together they'll get kind of silly and um, or they tend to fight more and so we had to figure out what the best pairing was so they know that when I say buddy up they need to get with that buddy they know they need to walk behind me and stay behind me in a straight line I do remind them if you could see on the video I turn around a lot and remind them to stay behind and stay straight and I'll say buddy up if we start to kind of stray off but they know what they're supposed to do when it comes to shopping so I hope that was helpful to you guys and you had fun coming along with us say bye. bye so I hope you guys found that helpful um, like you know like you've seen it's not a perfect system it did not happen overnight this was many 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 times of work um, we honestly there were several years even where we had to work with our kids on laying out those expectations kind of like you saw in the video and talking through what to expect um, doing the actual shopping and if things started to get really hairy and the kids were not obeying or listening I would leave the car and we would talk and if necessary give out discipline whatever it might be but we would deal with the situation in that moment you have to be willing in this period of time if you want to get to the point where you can do shopping on your own you have to be willing to take and put the time into it and be willing to walk away come back another day um, let them know you know let the the person know you know I'm sorry I've got to leave these groceries I, I need to leave and they will take care of putting it back for you um, obviously I only do this in dire situations but if you are not willing to leave your kids will pick up on that and they will know that they can push you and they can just be awful in the store um, so just be aware of that be willing to take time take the time designated to really really train them and to work with them to discipline them in this uh, and while it will be a probably a pain <laughs> and frustrating at first it will get better and it will be so worth it once you do it I really wish we would have done it earlier um, but it's never too late um, to teach them these things and just know that even once they are trained they're gonna need reminders and there's gonna be days where it's not so pretty um, so I don't want you to think that we have all perfect shopping trips all the time and trust me if mom gets the opportunity to go shopping by herself See you later. I'm totally going by myself. So I love taking my kids. It's great life skills. It helps them learn math and planning and checking prices. And there's so many great lessons to be learned at the grocery store. But if I could do it by myself, I totally will. I also will say that I use quite frequently the um, click and pull at a uh, at Sam's Club. So I just drag and drop my items from my app and check out and then drive up. They load everything into my car for no additional cost. And I drive off with my items. So I'm not afraid to use that kind of thing. I don't want you to think that I'm just, you know, perfect by any means. But this is kind of some of the things that we've done to help in this process. Um, and I hope you guys have found it helpful. If you find videos like this helpful and you'd like to see more like this, um, I'd love if you subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday on making the most of the little moments in homeschooling, home management, parenting, and everything in between. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.